Welcome to the next part. Sorry, this tutorial is so long. I need to get rid of all the fallout. Um, then just take an angled brush like this. Take Glamour Check or Vintage Gold or any like dark color. I'm just taking Glamour Check. Have a mirror in front of you, obviously. Um, so Glamour Check. And make the shape of the wing that you want. I want to be kind of like this. You can also add a little bit of black to it. So what I'm going to do just like that so you can clearly see. And that will be your outline. Take the same angled brush, Take put a little bit more black on it, and just fill it in. Got a little mistake here, so I'm just going to fix it. Did I fix it? Okay. So it looks like that. Then I'm going to take again the same crease brush. I love this brush. Take a little bit of woodwinked mixed with glamour check and start blending that out very lightly so but you can still see the wing or the edge so you can still see the edge i'm going to fix that up sorry i keep fixing it but with dark colors you always have to keep fixing the edge at least for me and then Lightly, super, super. Take it at the end and then super, super lightly just blend that out. Okay, that's good. So that's done with the. Actually, I'm going to add a touch more vintage gold. You can do it as, as you want. I'm just going to do it in this way. Take the flat shader brush and just pat it on. Just pat the color on. My nanny in the background. Pat it on. So it's like that. And I'm going to add a touch more black because the other eye is darker. I went too crazy on the black on the other eye. So, oh, can I steal the top of your shoes? Stop. Okay, I'm going to take some more black. Kind of pat it on just like that and mostly right in the crease we want more black I got black all in my sakura thing do you see that and I got like hairs in it and stuff it's disgusting that's what's wrong with these palettes that's the downside to them so just and then just make it dark. I think that's a little too dark. And then you take the shader brush, just pat it out. Take a little bit of white. I'm just using Chill from MAC. It's just plain, plain white color right there. Up. And I'm just going to, it creates a, a beautiful effect when you put it on top of the black and the dark colors in the crease. It creates a really cool effect. And that's good. And now I'm going to take my liner brush. This is the from Royal and Lang Nickel Silk Pro Sharp Line C498. It's just a angled brush. I'm taking my Smashbox Cream Eyeliner Duo, and I'm just taking the black color, lining underneath and on top, and creating a wing on top. This is probably a boring video. I don't know if you want to see me do the I do the eyeliner face. Up. Just swipe that across again. Always keep like taking fallout from under your eyes. And then just you can use this on your waterline. I by accidentally got a little bit on my waterline. I didn't want to. So take just a touch of black. Stop about halfway. Take a little bit of this. I'm just taking a random light color, goldish color, and then do it the other way. And 
going to take a little bit of electric from Urban Decay, run it um, on your water line and on the top of the black and the gold. Like, it's a little bit too thick. So, but uh, about like that, I don't know. And go all the way in like that. Then, I'm taking the liner brush again with the black. Lining my top lash line very carefully. Just kind of patting the color on. And do it a little bit thicker than you usually would. This is just the way I do it, but I did it too dark in my opinion, so you can do it whichever thickness, thinness you want. I'm just doing it this way. Because I did the other eye this way and I went way too overboard. And then you take your a little bit more of the liner. Hold on, let me just fill these parts in. And then you take the liner, you go like this and you swipe it. And that was way too much. That was like Cleopatra. So, just gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going to pat it. And I'm going to take, you can blend it out later. I'm going to take that gel liner and taper it like that. So you can have a wing. I don't want it this far, so I'm going to take the little crease brush and just blend that little part out. So you, like that, basically. And then just fill in that wing that we did. Take a little bit more of the sparkly black, just place it on top of the eyeliner really quickly. Just and I did the line way, way too thick but just kind of blend it downwards put more gold all that glitters on here perfect okay now it's starting to look more like the other eye there we go okay and now I'm just going to take finally mascara sexy curves mascara Put that on really quick, just on the top. I'm gonna take this off anyway, so just really quickly on the top and on the bottom. I don't care if I have smudges of clumps and stuff. Um, then I'm going to take a little bit of the cream bronzer that I have from, it's in Beach Bronze from the To The Beach Collection from MAC. Just kind of rub it on here define my cheeks that's it's a quick definer um, where did I put my lip bag oh my god um, just for time's sake I'm going to take a little bit of the ego on this brush brush it over my lips so it looks really crazy and silver like Kesha Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Daddy, Grandma, that's it. Kidding. Take some clear lip tar from OCC and it blends it out really well and just go like that. And it makes a cool lip. And yeah, that's my tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. Really hope you liked it. Bye.